Hi, I'm Oscar van Deventer and this is the Kite Dart Jigsaw. It's a jigsaw puzzle that I've developed together with Craig Kaplan um, by using the famous Penrose tiling with kites and darts. And as you can see there is a lot of detail in the kites and darts. And you may remember the bigger pattern, so what you see here, the frame is uh, giving you the bigger kite and dart pattern. You can also see it uh, at the back side, so when you store the puzzle it is uh, nicely stored, but if you are playing it you can take out the jigsaw pieces. But how large are the jigsaw pieces? Well, here we are. And here we have all the jigsaw pieces and they are of uh, two types. It's hard to uh, recognize but this is the kite type of puzzle and a piece and this is the dart type and they uh, fit into each other um, well like kites and darts and let me see. Yeah, Here we have an example how two pieces fit together and there are uh, more of these and the uh, goal of the puzzle is of course to put the jigsaw back. And again you see that uh, there is pink between the pieces because I ran out of uh, white material which was my original intention. So at the first glance the puzzle looks really really difficult uh, uh, because yeah all the tiny pieces. But once you understand the concept of the decagon then um, it's very easy to find like uh, okay these pieces should go here and uh, how they uh, how they correspond to the to the kite and dart uh, pieces. So here we are and then we can get start the assembly and I won't do it uh, as a whole but uh, it shows that uh, okay we now know that here we need a dart piece because we have a dart shaped hole so that is this piece and surprise surprise it fits. I made also a version that had only an outer frame but not a top and bottom frame. So for the version that you see here I made a 0.1 millimeter offset such that the pieces fit easily into the frame and that when you have solved it the frame locks together. But I thought let's make a very tight version. So this version is very tight, it has zero tolerance, uh, no gap between the pieces and yeah um, the assembly was difficult. I needed to do some per percussive assembly that is using my hammer and hammer the pieces in place and every things started to uh, move out and I'm not going to take this apart because everything will explode. You can really feel the tension, how tight everything is together. So now it's uh, more an, of an ornamental thing or if you like you can use this as uh, your example and then when solving it you can see whether you can match the pattern to solve the jigsaw and then put it in here. So my question to you is uh, uh, obviously I consider this a fun puzzle but would you consider it a fun puzzle to play and solve and to interact with the kites and darts? Thank you for watching.